Hey guys, so I've been seeing a lot of people in the forums having trouble with this whole no lack of save all button. So I know I talked about this in my getting started video, but I thought I'd make a standalone video that's just my way of saving and how I got everything to basically be not nearly as hard as going like up to file and pressing save level and then clicking another level and saying save level. That's just a pain in the butt for me. So what I did is I go to preferences in your general. Make sure you press this button please. Save automatically every five minutes. I, I think the default's 15 but I need to save more often than that because I make huge changes quickly. You can do it every one minute but I have a feeling that would slow down the computer to the point you wouldn't want to use it. So lovely little save as that way you don't necessarily have to worry as much about saving the scene although I still tend to save the scene save the scene often I'm gonna save the scene real quick hi okay that way I can save something so now I've got my levels all here let's say I make a drawing here I make a drawing here I make a drawing here and I make a drawing here okay now both of those levels have been edited, they're not saved, super easy for me. All I did was I went to keyboard shortcuts, configure shortcuts, I went to file, I went to uh, save level, and I changed that to S. So all I have to do to save a level is press S. Both levels now saved. No biggie, two seconds max, it's very nice and quick. The other thing I left, I left save scene as control S, just control, control S and your scene is saved. Um, let's add a little thing here, control S, okay we're good. Um, now if you go to configure shortcuts again, the last thing I changed is if you come down here, save palette. I've made this control shift S. I know in default control shift S is save the scene as, but I use that file maybe once a week and I use save palette often, like multiple times a day. So I change that to control shift S and if I want to save the save the scene as, I just have to go click it in the menu. So that makes it a whole lot easier to save things. If I want to save the palette, just control shift S. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite the palette. I'm going to say overwrite because that's going to change stuff in here. Now, it's not as important necessarily that you save the palette as you save this. I mean, I know it's colors are important, but this will lose your drawings. This will just use your, lose your colors. And if you're working in a raster layer, that doesn't actually mean anything because the lines are not tied to the palette. If you're working in Toons raster, they are tied, and so it will affect things, but I'm not sure how much. You just have to play with that and see. I, I would definitely recommend doing some dummy animations where you purposefully change things and not save them in the next to see what shows up. Because I believe... I save the levels also often, but I don't save the palette as often, and yet I haven't lost any colors yet. So I have a feeling, although I don't know this for sure, that the levels might save your palette. But that's just going to take more experimentation. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you have any suggestions for me, be sure to put it in the comments. If I'm doing something silly and you found an easier way, please let me know because that would be awesome. I hope this helped again and don't forget to comment and